morning from the south central coast of Albania. Nelly and I have just left Himare, which is near Saranda and the Greek border. And if you're interested in that part of Albania, be sure to go check out the last video we did because that hits a lot more on Himare and this area. Yeah, today we are continuing our road trip though back to Flores and then up to Skoda, which is in the north of Albania. Exactly, and that is something to look forward to. So this is more of like a travel guide style for Albania. We're gonna touch on things like transportation, accommodation, food and drink, and activities and things to do. So let's get started. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> First stop here in Albania is the monastery of Theodorit. Theodore. Theodore. Uh, and it looks to be sort of like an old complex where there were most likely nuns living or it was a, uh, a religious sort of sanctuary up on top of a hill surrounding like amazing views. It's a little bit hazy today, but we've got the Adriatic Sea just out here, an amazing beach down there, and it only takes like 10 minutes to drive up here. Yeah, it doesn't look that old though. It doesn't look like an old monastery. No, it looks, it looks renovated. like it's definitely been renovating, but yeah. I bet the actual site is probably oh, yeah. at least a couple hundred years old. And there's nobody here and it is free. So very cool. If you're coming to Albania, be sure to check out all of these little churches and monasteries along the map because tourism has hasn't really hit hard here yet almost and impossible. everything that we've seen so far has been free and there's been almost nobody here and they're all easily accessible and just amazing locations. So our next stop is this path about halfway between Vlor, uh, which is our final destination in Sandare. And yeah, the, the drive so far has been absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. We are right on the edge of this cliff. And yeah, let's keep going. It was extremely economical to rent a car in Tirana. We're paying 80 euros for four, five days, including uh, insurance that covers everything. So it's a much better price than most places in Europe and that is just amazing. So if you split that between four people, it is highly, highly worth it to rent a car here. Uh, there is local transport with the buses and I've been told that they're pretty good. It's just gonna take a lot longer uh, and they won't be able to drop you off or stop wherever you want. So having the rental car is a very, very good idea. It should be noted when driving in Albania that the roads are still a little dicey. We've seen some kind of crazy stuff. Yeah, some crazy bumps and holes in the middle of the road. Yeah, you can't be driving like over a hundred kilometers oh. for any given moment and think that it's gonna be all right. Uh, also, I think we've been mostly on pretty good roads. I think we've been lucky. Yeah, yeah like I think we could be much worse. Like, so if you're driving in like not really like a popular area of the country, keep that in mind. Also, the drivers can kind of be all over the place too, especially in Tirana. Sorry if there's any Albanian drivers <laughs> watching this video. But it's yeah. just something we're not used to, right? Yeah, that's true. So yeah, if you're renting a car, keep that in mind. So for food, we have stopped in an Albanian sweet shop or a bakery and I've gotten sort of like this pastry with um, salami in it and a bit of cheese and it is 
delicious and really, really cheap, which is super nice. One thing we've noticed that Albanians do really, really well is the coffee culture. It's very much like in Italy where they have these little teeny tiny espressos, cost like 50 cents, and they are super strong and really, really good. Mm. Yum, that's the kick that we need. We made it to our accommodation for the evening just south of Vlor. And this place we found on Booking.com. It's right on the coast. Looks like it's got an awesome view. Should be a good place to shoot sunset. And guess how much it was. Just guess. How much was it? 16 euros for two people. 16 euros. Amazing. Guys, they are just making something. Well, it comes with two beds, it's got enough space, it's got a fridge and a little table and a private bathroom, but the most important part are, is definitely the view. The sun has finally come back out here today. We are probably about an hour and a half from sunset, so it's time to enjoy a little bit of Albania here and have some Albanian white wine. Super chilling spot, good place to fly.